Okay, here's the status of the firmware thus far for the Pico Touch synth. It's a little synthesizer, um, wavetable synthesizer. The bottom keys are triggers for notes. The sort of the white keys in this piano key layout. The black keys are arranged as sort of three sliders. And so this slider controls the position in the wavetable. This is a wavetable synth. The position in the wavetable, which wave we're playing in that. <laughs> it's not very accurate, but there are 64 different waves in there you can get going. To help you scan through those, this over here is a slider that controls an LFO that automatically moves through the wavetable space for you, so we can turn that up a little bit. And then this, this middle set of three is the filter cutoff. tell on this sound. If we go to the uh, the second sound, this is A, B, and C. This is the first sound, A. This is a more sort of standard sawtooth sounding thing. We can close down this filter. And then this bottom one here is another wavetable synth. <laughs> you can get pretty discordant pretty quickly. But it sounds really cool. And it sends and receives MIDI now, both via USB and via MIDI in and out ports. So we can pull up a little little sequencer here, like the Pico Step Seek, and plug it in, and then And so while you can only play in a scale, this is a C major scale um, on this one, in MIDI it responds to the full, full MIDI space, the full keyboard. It also sends on MIDI, so if you just want to use this without any audio out and you just want to send MIDI via USB, it works as a full MIDI controller as well.